I'm creating custom audiences for people who page view, people who add to cart, doing people who purchased in the past 180 days. And basically just setting up all the custom audience so I don't have to recreate them later on. And then now if you go back to the ad manager, I actually got one sale from Activity Tracker. What I went ahead and did because of that sale, I went ahead and launched another five ad sets. I did another five ad sets with five single interests. Just off that one sale, I was like, oh damn, I got one sale, maybe I have something here. I'm gonna scale by adding in more different interests. And then with those ad sets, I wanted to launch retargeting straight away. I wanted to retarget people who paid for you, but did not add to cart. So I set up the retargeting ad, put it to purchase optimization, budget. I just put out a dollar since like, I don't have that much traffic to really retarget. Remove all locations, custom audience. I select people who page viewed in the past 14 days and I exclude people who purchased. Oh, I exclude people who add to cart. So this will be the page view note add to cart retargeting. And then for placements, I do automatic placements. I don't do edit. I want people to retarget and I want them to see my watch everywhere. So I don't restrict it to just Facebook and Instagram newsfeed. And what I do next is I go to the ad and then I go ahead and right now I'm looking at which of the best, which out of the three is performing the best. So the way I do that, I think the first one has the most likes, it has comments and shares. So that's obviously the most performing one. So I select that as a retargeting ad. Now I'll go ahead and I go back, the 000 retargeting campaign, I duplicate it. So I could do add to cart, no purchase. So I rename it to add to cart, no purchase. I scroll down, I put in the add to cart into the custom audience, and then I put in exclude purchase. And then those are the only two retire campaigns you need to start with. And as you can see, I have a bunch of other interests such as Kevin Hart, fashion accessory, luxury goods, LeBron James, my fitness pal, smartwatch, and they're all spending. I'm getting pretty cheap cost per clicks. But yeah, right now we're unprofitable because we've got one purchase at $39. Yeah, you just look at the ROAS. I got a 1.13 ROAS. Like that takes into account the currency conversions. But right now I'm not profitable, but I'm just testing more interest because the fact that I got that one sale and I have all that engagement, I know that this is a product that can work.